What's up, everybody? It's your girl Bianca back with another video. This thing was shaking. Okay, so um, I was gonna write some channeled messages down. I did write um, some channeled messages, um, but it's a lot. It's actually a lot. Okay. Um, Oh, man, I'm tired. Okay, somebody could be sensing your sadness. Or this could be your divine masculine, your partner, your divine feminine. Switch to energy. Um, somebody could have been, like, um, I don't want to say... Like, they could have been researching something or, like, looking into something or, like, fact-checking or something like this. This is what I'm getting. Um... Was like getting information so like you know fact checking because what i'm getting is like like making sure you are who you are you're making sure something fact checking you know making sure what you're saying is the truth you know and um yeah maybe because somebody could have said something about some sort of lie there's a lie or something somebody lied or they think you've lied something about some sort of deception um, maybe you feel alone in a situation or maybe you feel like somebody is trying to gain some information in like a shady way or something, or like a sneaky way to get away with something. Um, like you just, you question energy because you question energy. You could feel energy. Um, okay, somebody could be panicking because like some time's running out or maybe because more time is passing or something, they feel, they feel like they're like, they just, maybe this has been a long time or since a situation has happened and like they left you out on the cold or something, maybe somebody's been blackmailing this person because the song that was coming to my head was the um, misery business by Paramore. And it was, um, cause she says in the song, she talks about like, she, she set him free after like eight months, which is the other person. So maybe, um, oh, okay. Something about like a pregnancy or something along the lines of that. And then this person, because they now see you for who you truly are, which is like, your truth, you're genuine, you're lovable, you are a loving person, you, you've you tried to change, or you have changed, I even tried, you've changed your energy, you've learned how to just be calm, or like, and you can tell in your energy, in your aura, when you come around somebody, you could feel the sense of calmness in them, or this could be your person, maybe they're feeling this about you, because they say your counterpart, you feel what they feel. So if they feel sad, you feel their sadness. If they feel excited about something, you are in a great mood about something. Or you understand this. Um, maybe you don't worry as much about them because you know that they're okay. Maybe there's a situation where maybe this person has accepted that they've missed this opportunity or something with you. Um, they're definitely thinking about you. Um, somebody could have done something very, I put foul to you or to somebody who has such a beautiful aura, aura energy soul. So for that reason why they are panicking because they know, they know <clears throat> the levels of like balancing things out, <coughs> but they dish out, they get right back. So. Um, this person could be trying to stay like they try to figure they, like they watch your every move in a sense and this doesn't have to be like in a weird way but like they watch you and they find oh that they did this wrong let me grab them for that like let me let me give them like something along the lines of like they they like to say the things that you do wrong. And this doesn't necessarily have to be in a romantic or work or the career, what I'm saying, everyday life. Maybe somebody 
constantly brings up your flaws or brings up the things that you constantly need to work on, they don't see the improvement because some people don't see it in a sense of they don't know what you've gone through. They don't know where you came from from the past to the example now, so they only know you in this energy right now. So there's no comparison because you've always been in this energy in a sense of you've always been calm because you learned how to regulate those emotions and not project any type of, you know, uh, impatience on anybody or or any, you know, negativity or negative energy, negative thoughts. You don't try to entertain them. You always try to look on the brighter side of things. Um, so somebody could have, could be thinking about what they want to tell you or maybe they feel like, if something has to do with a lie, this could have been, this could have happened a, a long time ago, or somebody created some five 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 a situation that changed a lot of aspects in your life. They it created an ending in a lot of different ways, only because this person wanted to continue to have you in their energy, so they didn't want you to excel. Like they only gave you enough information to get to a certain point. And then they don't, they withhold that information even though they know it. They won't tell you because they don't want you to get ahead of them in a sense or something like this. And this doesn't necessarily have to be, because I'm not getting like ahead of them. They just don't teach you or something. Like they don't give you, like when someone teaches you something because they want you to do it on your own, they say teach or teach a man to fish, he'll eat forever. If you just give somebody something, they'll just eat for that day. In a sense, that's what I'm getting in my head. You try to um, get give people like explanations as to why, like, oh, this is why you do this or because this is how you learn. This is how you, you know. Your communication when it comes to how to explain things, you're very patient. That's another thing is shifting. I feel like you, whoever I'm talking to, you can be very patient when it comes to explaining something. Because what I'm saying is like a math problem. Or maybe when you do like, you know, something that takes a lot of time to like, or you have to really think about things like, okay, what I'm thinking about is like when I order flowers, when I have a huge event, like 30 centerpieces, I was just saying, because I just had one that was 30 centerpieces. How do I calculate how many I need for each one? It's all comes with time where I can do it very quickly in 10 minutes. Or in the past, it used to take me like an hour, two hours to just, it wouldn't even, I wouldn't even do it. I'd have my mom do it because I would get so overwhelmed with trying to calculate how much everything would, how many in each one of each them. Like it was just a lot. So I think, but over time I learned how to do it. It was just easier because I kind of already understood or remembered certain things so it's like this I don't know why I diverted into that or into that energy or topic but maybe um but yeah something about about that um some of you guys could have been Hold on. So somebody could have thought maybe they wanted to withdraw their energy because they feel like they are, they don't want to create chaos in your life or something, or they don't want to create, like, they see you've overcome a lot of things, so they hold back because they don't want to, what's the word, not ruin your life, but, like, they don't want to create any issues or conflict within your life because you're in such a balanced energy and they know how far you've come, you've come to get out of a funk or like an out of a an aggressive energy. They don't want to trigger that emotion so you go back to the aggressiveness or anxiety or whatever. They see you know how to ground yourself, center your energy, center your heart space. People could be copying you or they could just, and it's very noticeable, the people, and it's not just one specific person. It's a lot of people, a little doo -doo -doo around you. They all want, when you get it, when you want it, everybody wants it. It is what it is. It's like when you pick something up and you, you put it down, everybody wants to grab it. Be like, what is this, you know, type of thing. I don't know. Maybe they're looking into something. Maybe they want to look like you or maybe they see because I can look at a picture and um, 
on Instagram and be like, I really like her outfit. Copy the exact same outfit. Not exact, but similar. But that's how people get their inspiration. Okay, I'm going to get into tarot because I'm so tired. I already got to go to bed. Um, oh, so people could, somebody could have, somebody or a specific person, somebody or people could have created in an, not illusion, like they, yeah, they gave a misconception of you because what I was getting is the seven of cups in reverse, which is like the illusion or illusions about you. It's like seven of cups upright is options, but, um, the seven of cups in reverse is yeah, this person, the emperor came out, it has um, been, there's been illusions, like there's, it's being, it's being illuminated, the lies and the illusions that they set for, for that, oh, okay, okay, somebody could be wanting to communicate with you, or they could be wanting to send you some sort of message, or some sort of like, gesture 11 11 on the phone maybe this person has two paths or they're trying to they're trying to figure out which way they want to go yeah there's two ways two directions and they're trying to figure it out but they they need to create like some sort of plan i feel like they're looking in the direction looking in the right direction but they just need a um, create the plan or something or create a plan on how to move forward this person could be I don't want to say very controlling but very in charge you have the queen of cups could be you so I'm guessing that's divine masculine divine feminine so maybe that both of you guys are in some sort of energy where you're needing to um, make a decision about each other or something you could be very loving, very intuitive. You could like to be by the water or maybe you like to take showers or you drink a lot of water, something like that. Okay, so maybe you've been trying to, 1222 on the phone, you've been trying to juggle everything in your life and manage going back and forth within events, your job, and because it's your career, just different events, different things you have to do for your yourself, personal life. So I feel like you've been trying to balance it out. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Definitely some sort of brand new opportunity when it comes to love and action and creativity, um, plans. Let me see, Eight of Cups. Why is that one? Eight of Cups. All my cards keep falling on the floor. It's annoying. This is so annoying. Oh, I shouldn't even pick these cards up. Uh, one more, okay. Let's see. They say don't take them, so I'm not gonna take them. Where do they walk away from? I feel like they're moving forward. Walking away from. Maybe they're healing something. They're going to be healing something. Healing themselves. Yeah. The hermit card themselves. They're going to be... Maybe this person is not isolating. They're gaining some sort of spiritual knowledge. Queen of Pentacles could be somebody who... Maybe they have a child. Maybe... King of Swords. Uh, maybe this person was very cold towards you or something. Yeah, that child has that coin... <laughs> Two of Swords not making a decision. But you are definitely wish fulfillment. And in divine timing, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing, things are going to be working out the full. Maybe somebody's going to be taking some sort of leap towards you, towards your energy. Um, maybe they need to walk away from something first. Five of Wands, maybe some sort of conflict, whether it, whether it be... Inner conflict, mental conflict, or somebody outside of them. Conflict, creating conflict within this connection. Let it go, let it flow. They're just hating. Confirmation. Alright, so continue to stay in a balanced energy. The temperance is 
You've learned equal give and take. The high priestess too as well. Very intuitive. Somebody who knows it all. Six of swords being guided away. Knows it all but doesn't say a word. They don't need to blast on people. They just know. Okay, one more card. Or two more cards. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Maybe somebody, maybe they tried to slow you down. Or if this is not somebody who tried to slow you down. This person was in some sort of wounded energy. Or they are persevering through some sort of hardship. Um, maybe they're, they're coming your way. They could be coming your way. The Nine of Wands um, could mean that they're kind of guarded because they have been hurt. But, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, there's definitely, maybe there's going to be some sort of decision that's going to be needed, been needing to make. Maybe you and your, well, I know if you and your person could think a lot about each other, maybe at nighttime especially, or when they're not in your energy. Ace of Pentacles, maybe somebody wants to give you some sort of offer for some sort of collaboration. The full, Yeah, they want to take a leap. All right, anyways, I'm going to get out of here. It's already 12.30, so I got to go to bed. Um, get out of your anxiety. If you're in some sort of anxiety or if you feel a little overwhelmed, just take a break. It's not worth it. Just if this is your energy or if you're feeling any sort of anxiety, just know that things will get better and think it will pass. Um, all right, so with that being said, four of wands, stability, that is the card at the bottom of the deck, celebration, commitment. It is a wedding as well, so maybe you guys are going to be celebrating something. Something it doesn't have to be a wedding, but you can celebrate some sort of union or some sort of party. And um, yeah, you could be healing at this present moment, but I think getting out and um, doing other things can distract you really from what you think about that you need to do responsibility. Responsibility is like take a day, chill, do your own thing, um, and don't do anything, just chill. Sometimes it's hard for us to do that because we feel like we constantly have to be doing something and it makes me anxious. If I'm not, I don't feel productive, but take a chill pill, slow it down. You're fine. We, You know how hard you work, so you don't need to prove it to anybody. Anyways, okay, for the third time, I'll see you guys in my res. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll see you guys in my next video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in next time. Okay, bye.